In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. The second spiritual practice, self-control. The first enemies to prayer are food and sleep. This is a rule. When you eat a lot, prayer turns off. And when you sleep a lot, prayer evaporates. Because of this, there is a close relationship between temperance, vigilance, and prayer. Between fasting and prayer. When your body is light and you stay awake, prayer works well. When you sleep a lot and eat a lot, you find that the prayers come out without any feeling at all. Once, when we were young, a monk said to us, the two things that a monk hates the most are eating and sleeping. We said to him, these are the two things that we love the most. That's the difference between the bodily and the spiritual. The spiritual eats because he has to eat and sleeps because he has to sleep. The bodily eats with the purpose of eating and he awaits sleep. He regrets waking up from sleep. There's a big difference. The one prays and the other doesn't pray. The one knows how to pray and the other does not know how to pray. For the flesh lust, lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another so that you cannot do the things that you wish. Of course, everything is done in moderation and according to each one's ability and health. But the principle is that when you get a grip on yourself a little, you pray better. When you eat too much, you cannot pray. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But by the Spirit, you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. Also, one of the fathers said, Man and animals have in common sleeping and eating, but man differs from an animal because he prays. Do you understand the meaning? We never heard about animals that pray, but man eats and drinks as do animals. So what distinguishes you as a man is your connection with God. Therefore, don't go down to this normal level of eating and drinking. But I discipline my body and bring it into subjection, lest when I have preached to others, I myself should become disqualified.